The stage is set. Starting next week, island residents will get several opportunities to hear the candidate's stance on the issues. It all starts with the Guam Medical Association when they host its senatorial forum on October 6 at 6.30 p.m. at the Hyatt. GMA President Dr. Thomas Shea. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. All 30 candidates are going to be there. The GMA, which is the largest group of medical professionals on Guam, will ask questions particularly regarding health care, from insurance to tax waivers to medicinal marijuana. But I think it's going to, it's going to be different from other forums that you're used to because it's a longer format and it's a more professional environment and our questions are tough to answer. And speaking about being professional, Shea says the gubernatorial debate set for the following week will be just as much. Last time when they both meet, it got a little wild there. Um, we have more control this time, but we don't have too much control because you want to be able to see the substance of a candidate. And I think people want to see that. As you recall, the 2010 GMA debate was considered chaotic as the format was more of an open conversation with no time limit and candidates allowed to jump in at any point during the question-answer period. The GMA gubernatorial debate is set for October 14th, however, is already sold out. And while the GMA will host the first senatorial forum, the Guam Women's Chamber of Commerce will hold the first meeting of Governor Eddie Calvo and former Governor Carl Gutierrez, board member Monica Guzman. We were really hoping um, that the whole focus is on transparency, you know, so and, and accountability. And so we're, we're real excited that this will be a very unique but um, uh, an opportunity for, for our, our audience to really get to know the candidates and where they stand on the different issues. The event is titled Conversations with the Candidates with more of a town hall type of setting. It takes place on October 7th from 6 to 8 in the evening at the Academy of Our Lady of Guam Auditorium. Guzman says the topics will range from the economy to women's issues, fittingly enough considering that women make up more than 50 percent of the voting electorate. A conversation with the senatorial candidates, meanwhile, will take place in two parts, one on October 9th and October 16th, the latter of which you can still register for. Meanwhile, on October 8th, the Guam Community College's Supervision and Management Program will be hosting its first forum with the Republican gubernatorial candidates. Class co-chairperson Raquel Santos. Well, we'd most likely be expecting questions about how we can reduce tuition costs because obviously in this economy we're struggling to go to school and everybody wants a degree somewhere, somehow. The GCC Democratic Gubernatorial Forum, meanwhile, is set for October 9th. Both start at 6 p.m. in the GCC Multipurpose Auditorium in Manila. The GCC Senatorial Forum is set for both October 21st and the 23rd. Other debates and forums set for the month include the Guam Young Professionals Legislative Forum for non-incumbents on October 8th at the Outrigger from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. The Rotary Club of Guam will host a gubernatorial forum on October 9th at the Pacific Star Hotel. And lastly, the University of Guam School of Business and Public Administration, in partnership with the UOG Endowment Foundation, will host the gubernatorial Great Debate on October 30th at the UOG Fieldhouse from 7 to 9 p.m. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by Triple J, celebrating 30 years of putting our customers first.